And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we're trying to, well, we're trying to stabilize. We've been rushing, rushing, rushing and adding so many pawns that now it's time to maybe slow down a bit and not die. Uh, that's uh, basically the main goal at the moment. The problem is our expectations have reached sky high. That's, uh, that's not good. That's going to hurt our morale even more. Though, oh yes, our caravan is back. Please tell me you've got a whole bunch of meat on you. Yes, yes, you need to go straight to the fridge and start dropping that off. Well, they're coming back. We did a little bit of a trade here with some tribals. We got ourselves a Soothe Pulsar, another Insanity Lance, because they always come in handy, and a little bit of herbal medicine, because we're kind of out of medicine. Now, once this crowd come back with the animals, or once this, uh, this caravan is returned, we'll have a bunch more components, and that means more of this can go up. And, uh... The more hydroponics we get, the more le the less likely we are to starve. If you look at our meals here, we've got about enough meals to keep us going for a bit, but we desperately need more. Right now, we are frantically scrambling for food, and this made it painfully clear we needed transport pods. So that's why we queued up the research into them. Transport pods will allow us to get out there faster and hopefully get more resources back in. At the moment, we just sort of desperately need a bunch of vegetables to go with the meat we've picked up. For research, I think we're just going back here to grab brewing. We're definitely going to need that. Also, there's a whole bunch of low-end techs we should grab. All the high-end stuff, I think we've got everything we really need from that end, except for maybe moisture pumps. But they're going to be a bit in the future. It'll be a while before we'll be expanding out that far. Right now, more hydroponics. We need this uh, first crop of rice in soon. I've cancelled all non-fine meals. If we combine the rice with meat, we can double our uh, output. Well, you know, if we make all simple meals out of the, the, the meat right now, it'd be a waste, considering how close we are to our first crop of rice coming in. We've got just about enough uh, simple meals or survival meals and things like that. 224, that should tide us over until we uh, get fine meal production rolling. At the same time, I'm smelting all of the bio-coated weapons. Anything bio-coated, it's time to go. Or tainted. All praise Randy. Our first piece of good news in a while. Number 14, Slupman and number 25, Desky, have actually become lovers. Nice. We'll uh, stick them in the bed together and that will help them with their morale problems. Next up, we'll grab some sterile material. That'll get us into hospitals. We're going to need one of those in a bit, especially considering the amount of injuries we're going to get, and if we want to cut down on our uh, medicine usage. Uh, so far over here. This, we can't activate that yet. We don't have enough power, but soon we shall. We're going to put down a quick geothermal generator here. This should at least uh, bootstrap us to getting that second set of uh, rice up and running. Ooh, 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 yes. It is time for Pika Mula's Praetor Ceremony. Again. You know what, I, I think we'll just accept that right now. We should uh, probably start getting the room warmed up. We have, oh, someone's. Yeah, Edge Freeze having a little bit of a tantrum. It's fine, not everyone is feeling the May West right now. We'll have uh, Jarek Dane come over here and start this fire. That should get things nice and toasty. Though I'm not sure, we should hit the prerequisite tip. Oh. Yeah, they'll put out some of the fires around it, but they won't put out the wooden barricade. We've left that one out of the uh, the home zone. So that should get just toasty enough to cause them to stroke out. That's so handy knowing that you can just set fire to two things and be done with it. Edgefree, are you... Stop that. Just stop. Come on. Seriously, you're keeping everyone awake. Well, there's our... Our newest reclamation. We've managed to get our hands on a few of these. Perfect. Uh, in fact, we've... Already rescued one of them. Hey, guys, rescue the last of them, would you? The plan here to eat with the new ones is pretty simple. We're going to get everyone level one side focus. Um, is this a smart idea? Probably not. But getting them level one side focus means there's uh, the chance of them getting the, well, the friendly trait. That way, if they do actually use it, they've got a chance of getting the one that allows them to reduce the resistance of prisoners. So the more we spread this out, the more likely we are to end up with a bunch of pawns who've got the ability to allow us to recruit prisoners faster. Do we need it right now? No, but, you know, it might work out. Uh, let's see what they all got. Solar Pinhole. Well, not my favourite one. Word of Trust. That's the one we're looking for. Now, all they need is a side... It has a side focus cost of 60%. So all we got to do is keep that around... Ooh, yeah, say 62.5. That should be fine. Oh, damn. That still takes them to the highest level range of side focus fail. Like at 50 to 100% at 7.5% loss per day. They're going to have to meditate a lot. I do like that the pyromaniac got the word of trust. Eh, good job, Jarek. <laughs> good job. Also, Vile Soup got word of trust. All right then, a trigger-happy night owl jogger. Uh, doesn't seem unusual at all. Trade ship passing by, let's see what they got for sale. I want to get rid of a whole bunch of junk if we can. Unfortunately, no cows. We are desperately going to need those later. Or chickens or goats. Cows would be preferred, but we're going to need so many so fast. We're going to take cows, chickens, or goats to start. We can hopefully go all goats at the or all cows at the end. Uh, they've got nothing we really want here. I th we'll, get, we'll take a psychic suit pulsar and that's it. I was really hoping for more. I think it's time we put together a caravan to go traveling. 
we have unfortunately failed out of one of the components quests. That's, yeah, we won't get there in three hours. But we can't really sell most of this stuff because the two closest towns, yet they still haven't restocked. So I'm thinking another component quest run. Oh, and for the last Silent New Reformer, Alanism got stunned. So yeah, there, there's no point wasting your time. This is going well. Once both of these are up and running, assuming we can keep enough wildlife showing up on the map. And let's see, take all of you. Will we try a taming? Hmm, tame chance 6%. That's not good. You know what? We'll just uh, we'll add them all to the fridge. If we get if we had a inspired taming, I might try and tame the mega slot just to have a second one on hand. All right, what we've been doing over here is we have been gaining steel, lots and lots of steel, so we can finish this off. I think because we have two of these, maybe three, we can cut back. We can slow down and take a breath. Though, how is our chem fuel reserves looking? They're basically what's telling us twelve hundred fifty-five. Yeah, I think I think we're good for a little while longer. And finally our crops are coming in. I uh, messed up on the power front there, so things were a little bit tighter than we'd like. We're down to 11 packaged survival meals. That was, um, close. All right, I'm not even sure if that's gonna bring enough rice. We may have to switch to a few simple meals from meat just to get by, but I think, I think we're pretty good. However, yes, the amount of tantrums, dazes, uh, all sorts of things that have happened, hide in room, food binges, all of these things have not helped. We need to fix them. So the only way we can do that is we have to up morale, and it turns out beating them until morale improves doesn't really work. Well, it works temporarily, but it, it turns out eventually the beatings wear off, and then you have to beat them again, and we're just going to lose more limbs. So we need to build bedrooms, I think. that's uh, I've been doing some testing on the side to see what's the smallest, most efficient bedroom we can build. Let me grab, say, someone here like Iray. They have uh, an extremely impressive barracks, so that's a plus two. However, their disturbed sleep is a minus three which means they're getting a minus one just from sleeping in this room. And everyone is. There's too many people who pass through here, so disturbs, disturbs sleep minus three is just going to happen. So it's a minus one room, which is pretty good. Considering the investment we made, that's actually excellent and has tidied us over quite well. But we need to get them better. And I think what we can do is we'll turn this entire area here into just a sort of a block of flats, and we'll use that to give them about a, a morale bonus of about plus two. That's it. We'll get plus two morale, but they should be tiny rooms. We're talking three by three rooms here on the inside. So you'll fit like a double bed and a little bit and that's it. All right, let's get started on this. Well, actually, once the power is finished, I want to make sure we're, we've got an excess of power to fuel this. And it's the only way we're going to survive. The numbers on this don't work out quite as well as you would hope. Uh, the reason being this is on a harder difficulty level than normal. Uh, we have a harvest yield of five. I was just looking at all the wiki entries and all the details to do with the, the plans we were making. And unfortunately, they assume you have a... Uh, a yield of six. For example, if you go to the storyteller settings here and just put it on normal, and you come back in here, you can see that the rice will go, oh, that's a hydroponics basin. The rice itself will now go up to a yield of six. That's sort of what's going on here. Uh, if we go back to storyteller, go down to custom, and then if you set it to losing is fun, you'll notice harvest yield drops to 80%. Yeah, that's going to mess with the numbers quite as substantially. All the all the details they found on it assume 100%, but that's, yeah, who's going to worry about it on 100%? You're looking up those numbers when you're playing on really hard difficulties. Anyway, wedding. Massive, massive wedding. Everyone's coming in and we got to name our last three colonists. So one, some, one moment before we go to the wedding. First up, we have 38 Buddy Mitchell. Our 38 colonists. Well, there should be a couple of L's in there, but you know, wouldn't fit. Fast learner, iron-willed, and abrasive. And would you look at that? They're really great at medical. They'll fit right in. An abrasive doctor. Yep, yep, perfect. Um, as well as that, health-wise, actually only a right eye missing. That's kind of amazing. Considering how long they'd been in the prison, I was kind of expecting an awful lot more problems. Though a whole bunch of their friends must have died in the last raid because they still have a whole bunch of negatives going for them. Number 39 is K-Dad. K-Dad? I'm going to assume that's some sort of dog reference. Anyway, K-Dad here is... Kind pyromaniac quick sleeper. I always love a good quick sleeper, but pyromaniac, that's going to be, oh, what's, is that our third? That's our third pyromaniac so far. This can only go well. Great at construction, mining, and that's it. They'll basically be dedicated constructor with a little bit of mining on the side if there's no constructing to be done. 440, our 40th colonist, we have Ancient Gammoner. G-A-M-M-O-N-E-R. Won't fit in though, unfortunately. I can't find a way to extend the names in this. Does that, if anyone knows, let me know if there's a mod that allows you to put in more characters for the names. Anyway, undergrounder, fast learner, greedy. Because, you know, we don't have enough greedy, abrasive people in the colony just yet. 
social mining, yet yeah, basically going to be construction and mining, and that's it. More constructors, the better. Health-wise, they're unfortunately were missing a leg. We gave them a peg leg to start. We just can't afford to give them a, uh, the components necessary to give them a prosthetic leg. We'll get around to bionics later when we have a lot more resources. For now, we're still rushing. But that's the three new colonists that have been added. And you'll notice we are 160 days since you arrived at the colony. And who needs rescue? Oh, Zach. Yeah, I scheduled someone to uh, give him a little bit of a tap to, you know, um, make him recover from his mental break. Anyway, that's everyone is currently here except people who are on mental breaks. Oh, wow. That is... Yeah, that's a screenshot. There's actually two more pawns who are due inbound. I hope they don't miss the ceremony. That would be kind of awkward. Guys, come on. Yep, there's Ransom the Blind. There's one and there's one more. Come on. Hey, hey you arrived late. Just stay at the back. Don't go wandering around. Hey, there we go. Please tell me you got the bonus from attending the wedding. Attended the wedding. Perfect. How, how are you doing, Zach? Oh, well, you got catharsis, I suppose. Uh, how about you rescue that one? Maybe if he... You know what? It's fine. You can just leave him there. <laughs> They're attending the wedding. They're in the room. That's all that counts, okay? Now, let's see if there's any fights. Come on, there's got to be at least one. And we're done. Okay, that was... I'm kind of disappointed. I was expecting an awful lot more carnage, though they did take shameless advantage of all the tables. All right, then. Uh, get that rice in. We need more food. More food and more food now. What are we looking at? we got 18 simple meals, but with all of that rice coming in, we should be able to pound out a whole bunch of fine ones. Then we can finally get started on our accommodation. I have queued up a... Ah, here it is. A fabrication bench. This is now just going to make components. Uh, just do that forever, I suppose. Yeah, forever is fine. I uh, just drop that on the floor. I think we'll stick in a little bit of a shelf here, put some steel on it, and make sure that the animals can get into it. Stuck it up. Wedding over. Everyone back to work. It's time to start on our... Uh, our new facility over here that we can get rid of that area. We're going to make our uh, block of apartments here. I've already got the animals to move a bunch of marble blocks to speed things along and I think the plan will be we'll wall in around the outside first before actually doing in the center. Uh, this, all right, something like this all the way around. Oh, no, we'll, we'll leave any natural rock formations. Why not? And I'll have to build in some doors as well, but that should give us a fairly sealed in area where we can get to work. With the amount of constructors we have, this should be hopefully fairly painless. Oh, trader as well. This reminds me, we need to grow drugs. Lots and lots of drugs. But we can't really grow very much right now because of this volcanic winter. This thing is really slowing us down. It's lasted 28 days so far. It can last a potential of 40 and I'm sort of weirdly glad we got it now. If this had struck much later when our population would have gotten even more out of control, I wouldn't have been nearly as prepared and yeah, that, that could have got weird. We might have had to run or do some other things. But now, now I think we'll be prepared for when the toxic fallout comes. It inevitably will. Oh, more research to package survival meals. We're going to need those for the caravans. Speaking of uh, drug production, let's uh, let's move that along, shall we? Oh, and we had one silent neuroformer I completely forgot about. So, buddy, what did you get out of that? Burden. Well, in that case, yeah, you can just forget about it. The more words of trust we get, the faster we can recruit people and the less injuries we'll give them when we're recruiting them. Completed. Nice. All right, next stuff. We're going to put in the actual rooms. Now, uh, we're going to cram them in. It's not exactly going to be pretty, this place. That is going to be the size of their rooms. Yep, nine tile rooms. That's it. That's all you get, guys, I'm afraid. And now to put in some double beds. And we have installed another little mod. Where is it? Uh, furniture. We're going to go with double bed. We are going to make it out of wood. We are going to stick it right there. Uh, yeah, there is fine. Then we are going to go into the... Where is it? Come on. Here. You can select quality and we're going to make that excellent. So if it's not excellent, they'll keep coming back and remaking it until it is excellent. And if we need any more wood, we can definitely chop some more down. Lee, our best builder, with no health defects, somehow managed to build nothing but good beds. No excellent beds, just, just good. All of them are good. Uh, kind of okay with that. This one here was built by someone else, so that one's actually excellent, which, yeah, that's, um, that's wonderful. Okay, we've got eight. Unfortunately, we've only got four statues so far. And if you check the quality in these, you'll notice these ones are dull. Uh, dull should be fine. Decent, uh, what was it, mediocre is what we're aiming for. Oh, oh, there's some dirt in there. Time to uh, expand the home zone. Yeah, we'll just, uh, oh, actually, we're going to need to expand this entire area into the home zone. Uh, this is going to be an awful lot more sweeping. Plus, we're probably going to have to start flooring whole places as well. Oh, dirt is going to become an issue. 
But give me one minute. We need more statues. We need about four more. Oh, I should probably point out why we need the statues. If we go into the numbers mod and we go down the traits section, what we're looking for here is people who are jealous or greedy. So you got jealous, jealous, greedy, jealous, greedy, uh, greedy, greedy, and I think that's it. So that is seven people who are greedy or jealous. Uh, the reason for that, if you look under here, greedy people, they require, uh, they get a mood loss if it doesn't get what he wants. Wants a really impressive bedroom, basically. So it's best to give them a bedroom first. Now, this won't completely fix them. It will half their mood penalty, though. They're currently getting minus eight. Giving them this kind of mediocre room that's just not quite good enough will give them, will reduce that to a minus four. However, that's only for the greedy people. The jealous people, they're another story. The jealous people, they want everyone to have a room, they want to have a room just as good as everyone else. So if they have a less impressive bedroom than anyone else, they'll get a negative mood penalty. So right now they're fine. But if we put all the greedy people in there, the jealous people will go nuts. So we need seven bedrooms fully prepped and ready to go so that we can put all the greedy and jealous people in all at the same time. Because that's how many greedy and jealous people we have in a, in a colony of only 40. Only 40. We've managed to get all the, all the stars. While we're waiting for this to come online, let's finish this off. I think we can outline the guts of what we're aiming for. This is going to be a bit of a building project. I'm not even sure this will hold all our pawns. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 16, 24, 32. Actually, no, it will hold them all. In fact, this will hold our expansions as well. We can put in, we can mix in some prisoners with this whole section also. Hmm. I think to start with though, we'll just get in the uh, seven abrasives and greedies, and then we can fit all the rest of our people into these. They don't even need statues, just a bed and a nice floor, and they should get at least dull, which gives them a zero. Uh, oh, we're going to need heating and cooling in here as well. Oh, joy of joys, the ash has settled. That means the volcanic winter is over. We can grow normal crops again. We might be able to get some other crops in by just the rice we've been barely eking by on. Look at our meals. We've got 18 fine meals. This has been... Oh, and animals will return. We'll actually have wildlife to hunt. We've been running out of anything of a decent size and meat amount. Thank you, Randy. Now, let's, uh, let's finish off our uh, block of flats here and get our, our people moved in. Well, things have been going reasonably well, disturbingly well, I might add. Uh, we're a little bit low on food, but another crop of rice coming in, and this should tide us over until we get in our next crop of potatoes. Once those potatoes start coming in, we'll be swimming in food. However, um, this brings us to an interesting thing. We're about to migrate our people in here, but before we do that, let's have a quick go over. We found a bunch of components out on the map, so we can go find those. We found another bunch of components. If you're curious, that's all coming from this... Uh, Long range mineral scanner. Each one of those is worth a hundred components if you go grab it. Uh, exotic goods trader. We scan some underground jade using this, which means we've got a bunch of jade around here somewhere. Or is it? Yeah, there's a pile of jade over here. We still haven't dug up that silver. We've got a couple of piles of steel over here. Uh, we've got another pile of uranium and more steel. We've got plenty of resources we have to go extract, but I think we'll wait until after we do our surrounding wall. We're going to do a big surrounding wall all around the base to improve our protection, but once our block of flats is finished, a couple of Mega Sloth Revenges. Oh yeah, DM Dark got a, a little bit mauled, I think. Sorry, CM Dark. Yeah, you got hit a bit by some Mega Sloths. You'll be fine. Walk it off. Anyway, uh, we've got a new quest, which is completely pointless. Uh, yeah, this uh, go kill 11 pirates and they give us... Uh, it's not worth the effort. I mean, maybe the two advanced components, but I'm just not that bothered. Sorry. Uh, psychic uh, Soothe for males. That's always appreciated, especially considering we're... Large majority male. Uh, inspired surgery we don't care about. An animal plague has hit a bunch of our animals. That is unfortunate. However, checking in here in the numbers mod, they all seem to be making a recovery. None of them are in the red, so I think they're all going to pull through. The only one we care about, though, is Cecile because they're bonded to the Schweitzer. And then another component lump was found. That's uh, three component lumps in the last while have been found by this. That's 300 components out on the world map. We do have to go get them. Well, there's actually four. There's that fourth one over there. That one's going to expire, though, in a while, is it not? Actually, that one is the oldest one. It's got 19 days left. We'll be fine. Though I think we need to go get rid of that raid source soon. I think that is what is resulting in all of those Emily X's destructive, deadly freaking pirates showing up with doomsdays and triple rockets. We might want to go kill that. But unfortunately, we're just a little bit low on food at the moment. Give us a minute. Give us a minute. But the plan. We are about to move some of our more uh, irritable employees or employees colonists or most more irritable colonists into these rooms and I want to check something uh, this room is slightly better than this room and I mean not by much if you'll check this one has a wealth of 644 
Uh, the reason for that is this room has a good bed and a good statue. This room has an excellent bed and a good statue. The only difference is the excellent bed versus the good bed. Now the problem I face is I want to put all the greedy and jealous people in this section, but what happens if not everyone's going to have a good bed? We're going to get some excellence and masterworks and things like that. What I want to know is, is the impressiveness all that counts? That number at the top left, to, uh, you know, impressiveness number 41. If that's the only thing that counts, then we can put... A, greedy person in here and then a jealous person in here and then the jealous person won't mind that this person's room is a tiny fraction better. If they do mind then that's going to be a problem. What we have done is we have assigned Scott Wilhelm to that bed. So Scott over here is greedy and because they're greedy they've got a minus eight because they're greedy for impressive bedroom. Now we're also going to keep an eye on Pseudonym over here. Pseudonym is jealous, which means they can't have, they, they, they find it degrading if someone has a better bedroom than them. So what should happen is Scott Wilhelm's needs should drop to, drop to minus four because they're greedy for impressive bedroom. We've just given them this, we unpause the game, and now it's dropped to minus four because they've noticed, hey, I got a better bedroom, even though I even haven't been to it yet. Pseudonym, however, what happened to you? Well, that's weird. Pseudonym has got no neg- Ah, jealous of Williams- Yeah, jealous of Scott Williams' bedroom. There's a minus eight we were looking for. So if we put them in- what is it? I think we'll- It doesn't really matter which one they get in. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick Pseudonym in there. With them assigned to that bed, that should mean now that Pseudonym- Let's see what happens. And it's gone. All right. So that means it doesn't matter if someone gets an excellent bed or a good bed. That's fine. So we'll we'll stick with good or excellent. Anything above good as a bed should be fine. Oh, perfect. That means we can put all of those people who are grumpy in here now. It's just all of those people, all of the uh, the greedy people, they've been going around with a minus eight mood penalty, and it's been it's been annoying. It's been really annoying. I think I'm going to make some minor modifications to this. One of them is I think we're going to strip out these bedrooms here and turn this into a recreational area. That's one thing we've been kind of a little bit lax on, is I haven't been really keeping up with the recreational buildings. And there's a pile of jade down there. Okay, good to know. Um, what I mean is, we haven't really got into the good recreational buildings, as in the poker table and the billiards table. So I think we rip out this entire section, we lose a few bedrooms, fine, but we get to turn it into an excellent recreational area. And this whole area out here will be one giant room, and it should hopefully give us a nice big bonus to our recreation. And there they go, having a nap in their new beds. Uh, some of them were actually in couples. I had missed that, so we had to go through and, oh god, it, there's got to be some way to keep track of couples more conveniently than going into their needs and seeing that, oh, they have an opinion of their lover or they need to actually be in the same bed as them. But this, this is good. Once we finish this, we'll have everyone in their own private bedroom. And... Oh, inspired surgery. Yeah, we, we don't care. Why are we getting so many inspired surgeries? We do have an inspired taming going on, and I really hope a mega slot shows up. Ooh, rhinos. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, we have loads of meat showing up right about now. Oh, we're going to have to get a hunting party together. Especially for those rhinos. They are incredibly dangerous. Oh, another thing we did. I've been knocking out just a few researches in the background, namely because our people are getting really good at researching things. So we've got ourselves moisture pumps. We've also got ourselves jump jet packs, which reminds me I have to put one of those together. Ooh, should we get brain wiring? It would be nice to have a joy wire uh, or the option to use one on some of our more uh, troublesome pawns. So maybe we'll pick up brain wiring while we're here. One of the bottlenecks we face here is getting enough good statues to put in there. We have doubled statue production by putting two people dedicated full time to it. Though, yeah, where are they at the moment? Come on, guys. Oh, are we out of marble? I think we may have burned through a big chunk of our marble reserves. How much granite we got? Okay. Okay, now we can start working on our outer walls. That's, that's good. Uh, but just let me finish this off first. We want to have, uh, we want to move at least half of our people in here. Food is, yeah, food's a problem. Some people are starving. This rice is not able to keep up with um, our requirements. Well, there is too many. There's like 40 people here. Uh, so I think each one of these can support about eight maybe people. So about 24, oh, I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to redo the math on this at some point. All right. Um, at the same time, I've basically ordered a massive harvesting of all the berries on the map. We are now in berry harvest mode to just get... Yep, there we go. That should bring us in just enough wheels to tide us over until these potatoes come online. These potatoes are almost there. Just don't give us a toxic fallout, Randy. You know, be nice, be nice. Let us just finish our potato harvest. That will get us over the hump. Because we desperately need it before we run out of chem fuel. Because chem fuel is the only thing that's keeping our economy running. Oh, brain, brain wiring, excellent. Tube television next. We'll get a flat screen after that. We want something to go into this uh, this new recreational room we're going to plow through here. Drafted hunting with pyromaniacs is kind of fun. 
we've, we've given them fire launchers, which sort of, even when the animals go manhunter, they have a tendency just to get, you know, set on fire and then lose focus. Though, ooh, let's make sure they don't get too close, shall we? Well, a quick catch up on what's been happening the last while. We got a couple of masterwork beds. I need to do some testing with that later. There was a few revenges here and there. Oh, the mega sloth we killed did have a, a bunch of problems with it. it. That's why we didn't tame it in the end. Even though we had a, a taming available, it had toxic buildup and asthma. Uh, I didn't want an asthmatic mega sloth for some reason. Uh, a couple of rhinos revenged. And now we've got a siege from Emily's exes. Dear Lord, the amount of relationships. Look at this. Um... Aunt of Colonist 31, mother-in-law of Colonist 28, uncle of Colonist 34, father of Colonist 31, great-grandmother of Col Father of nine, gra oh, God. Okay, but there is 83 of them. They're going to siege up. They've got one triple rocket launcher, it looks like, and I'm guessing about three doomsdays, unless they're stacked on top of each other too tightly, but no grenades. Absolutely zero grenades. We could heat stroke these out and capture a whole bunch of them. But, of course, we couldn't feed any of those prisoners. We don't have enough food yet. We need to get a second one of these up. We'll, we'll go over the numbers later, but I think the uh, plan is we're going to get some people on mortars. We'll mortar them out of it. They'll come at us. They'll go into our, sea, our, our heat stroke box and we'll stroke them all out, steal their stuff, and then kick them off the map. Well, we got Rachel and Zach on the uh, on the case. They're our night elves, so they're going to start shelling this position. Uh, you know what? Let's hold those doors open. Are they set to be hold open? Yeah. If you need to get in there, leave the doors open. That way you can reload just that little bit faster. Okay, let's see how these first shells come off. Inbound. Ooh, that's a mortar down. Ooh. Yep. Nope. Oh, that's incompetent cook. Okay, who's been messing up the meals? Okay, we'll worry about that in a second. What's about to pop? Is that a bunch of shells? Six, oh, six incendiary shells. This should be entertaining. Damn it, you're going to set all the meals on fire. Rainy thunderstorm. Perfect. That should save all the meals. Those, those survival meals will be very useful to us. Also, preferably those components as well. Come on, come on, come on. Are you attacking? Yeah, sieging. Yeah, they're, they're going to attack. Well, I've kept all the animals inside. We've locked all the doors on this end just to make sure the animals don't try and do some sort of stupid pathing. And they should have only one option to get at us, and that's through our kill box. All right, let's uh, let's start the fire, shall we? We'll get Sonico over here. They're pretty close by. They're going to grab some mollies. And they're going to head right down here and start a fire. Yeah, right about. Come on. Oh, we should probably change the home zone just so that we don't start any problem. And start the fire, please. That was a perfect shot. All right. We'll have you uh, re-equip your heavy SMG and get out of here. Doors are open, everything's ready to go, fire started, and that should hopefully cause a, a nice little bit of cooking to go on. Yeah, we'll haul those back and get out of here. I think we got a bit of time before they show up in the kill box, so let's just uh, skip this forward a bit. Damn it, why are so many people getting food poisoning? <laughs> I think uh, what happened was Mitchell got food poisoning and he was a cook. And then that kind of spiraled because once they started cooking with food poisoning, all the food they were producing had food poisoning. That's really annoying. Though we've uh, banned them from cooking, so it should sort stuff out. Yeah, we're going to have some... Some of these are going to have those shield backpacks, aren't they? Oh, we really should have sent someone over to defend them. No, actually, that's fine. We've got Alex over here with their berserk. Anyone tries to run for this guy, they're going to get berserked. Oh, grenades. Thank you very much. We're going to need one right there. And Alex, maybe uh, have that guy attack everyone else. Oh, damn it! Another one already? That's, um, great. Uh, Alex, what? I didn't tell you to move there, did I? I think I told him to move there. That was very dumb of me. I apologize. Uh, we'll do another berserk, but we'll do it on that guy. Perfect. That allows us to take care of all of the problems left behind, and oh my god. That's annoying. Uh, right, this is actually really irritating. I should have gotten a second grenadier. Though I'm pretty sure they're all about to heat stroke out. They've got to be pretty close. What are you at? Heat stroke serious? Uh, that's only 43%. You are at... Hmm. Heat stroke 43%. We might want to actually crank this up a little bit. We're going to need more death on these guys. Plan is very simple. We're going to have to keep EMP grenading, but we're going to have to use the EMP grenades to... Uh, well, once the shields are down, we're going to have to destroy the actual shield generators themselves. Uh, these things only, they last 30 seconds, and we can keep kind of throwing grenades at them, and this is buying them enough time to cause us problems. Okay, you. Attack the actual shield generator and destroy it. Wow, that shield generator does not die. These grenades, however, might make a little bit of a difference. 
Seriously? They can't kill it. Those things are incredibly tough. Uh, there's one down. Ow, Sonico went down. Hey, I'm gonna need the rest of you guys to kill that guy. All right, some retargeting has been done. Yeah, that should hopefully slow things down a little bit. Uh, you, yeah, you're still targeting at the right location. Uh, that guy should be getting heavily targeted by people now. Yeah, that's perfect. And they've broken. Perfect. Yeah. I don't think many of them are going to live very long. Okay, I think... I think we'll let everyone who's injured go away, and we're going to get ready for a giant capture session. Uh, we're going to start to strip them. Hopefully we can get some more of those shield poppers. Those shields were really annoying. I'm going to have to double down on how to get rid of those. I'm going to have to think about them more. Just normally I haven't seen so many in one group. Checking through the numbers mod, it turns out only one of them with the shield, only one of them had a low shield pack that didn't make it to the front line to actually utilize it. That's really annoying. <laughs> what the hell? The amount of them we actually knocked out in the tunnel beforehand, and it turns out, no, no, all the ones with shields, they were all at the front. Every single last one of them. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this mess cleaned up. Well, this is a glorious mess. Um, I really wish we could have captured a few more and stripped their gear, but this is going to definitely drive up our wealth a little bit of an uncomfortable amount. Ah, uh, Sebastus, are you stuck behind someone? That's fine, that's fine. All you gotta do is just shoot them. You got a gun. No, no, stop trying to melee them. Just shoot them with a the gun. There you go. Perfect. Now you can go home. Christ. It's going to take so long to strip all the gear out of here. Ah. Oh. Yep, never strip the guy with the low shield pack we could have captured. Oh, well. Time to uh, strip down the ones we can, take as much gear as we can, and then let all the rest of the everyone get back to work. This was... Uh this was a good this was a good session as a test this worked out really well we managed to well if we had been doing this better i didn't keep the fire going or keep the heat up i was just more interested in stripping down a few of them and taking some of their gear but if we had have actually been trying to capture people this putting them here as a sort of intermediate step i think it worked quite well oh yeah there's going to be a whole bunch of diseases and infections but all of these prisoners they're all set to be released as soon as possible the moment you can walk out the door get off the map Oh, yeah, you should... Don't get involved in a fight, you don't have to. Right, just, just stay, stay there. And then just shoot anyone who walks by. You can shoot as much people as you want. I'm sure this will really help with your, uh, whatever you may call it, shooting skills. Some of the prisoners unfortunately had to be, um, let go. They weren't getting up to leave the map, and it was going to expire at that point where... And they were going to die and cause us problems. Justified execution? Oh. I did not know that actually still gave you a minus. Okay, well, at least it's only... Uh, that's going to last for a while, isn't it? Six days? An inconvenience. How long does the wedding last for? Another 1.7. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe execution of prisoners is not the uh, perfect thing we were hoping for. Buggery. Oh, well. Let's get on with the day. Uh, plan. Yes, finish the bedrooms and the recreational area for everyone. Well, we would finish it out if we didn't have another raid. And it's another siege from Emily's exes. Oh my god, how many people has she dated? This is just ridiculous. And one of them is related to Quantum of Zari. Quantum Zari? Uh, Quantum Zari, where are you? Did you lose anyone in a recent fight? Uh, where's your needs? Yep, nope. yet your father died recently. And Trudy died re Wow, you're about to lose your third piece of kin in god knows how many days. Uh, thankfully, we're just about to finish the doors here. Once that door is finished, we'll start closing these off. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, we'll close that off there. Then we'll move the bodies out of the way and we should be open for business again. We already have the fire back in place. We haven't had time to strip out all the equipment we wanted, but we got the main stuff. The doomsdays, basically. Doomsdays, triples, anything good like that. Uh, ooh, I would like to get the medicine. Nope. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to have another stack coming in soon. Now, this is going to be a siege, so let's get a couple of people on mortars straight away. Everyone's still a little bit frazzled, but we should be fine. We're going to have to arrest Zachary, though, and bring them back inside. They are... What are you doing? Insulting... 30. Okay, fine, fine. So long as you're not... Ins yeah, so long as you do that insulting inside. Everyone back inside. Oh, sweet. Yeah, nope, 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 nope. I'm going to need you to prioritize hauling that body out of there so that we can actually close that door. Uh, how are we looking over here? What type of attack are we looking at? How many grenades? Molotovs only? No grenades. That's fine by me. Only two doomsdays? 
Oh, come on, this is nothing. Like, seriously, after what we just saw, this is... 38 humans? I mean, no offense, but... I feel like I'm just going off and grabbing a tea and just... Uh, no, never mind. Let's, I want, I'm curious to see something here. Uh, does this actually tell us what this, this was caused by... We have this nearby, this raid source we accepted ages and ages ago, and I'm curious, it, like, it doesn't seem to tell us which raid is related to it. So there's this one? Maybe this is the one from... Like, this has got to be the one from the raid source, right? I mean, it's so tiny. 38? I mean, 38 and, and only a couple of half-decent weapons. I think it's time we... Well, right, we'll murderize these, but I think we'll do that tomorrow. There's a couple of things that we have to take care of on the side. One is this quest. I think we want to accept it, though I'm not sure which reward you want to accept. The reason we want to accept it is you build this monument, blah, 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 but if you don't protect it properly, 80 insects hives will burrow up from underground. We, we want 80 insects hives. That will give us lots of chem fuel. So much chem fuel. The question is, which one of these rewards do we actually care about? I mean, the Tech Proof Sub Persona Core allows us to research something, but we've got loads of people for research. Architect Leg, always good. Psychic Emanator, that's always good. Gives a nice mood boost in the surrounding area. We could stick that in a hospital. So, probably one of the bottom two, I'm thinking. Yeah, but we still have to build it, and that will come after we build the surrounding wall. These things can hold almost 50 people. It's 48, but let's just say we're going to need, what, uh, six of these? So, oh no, sorry, eight of these. We're going to need eight of these, and we should be able to house everyone. And you can see the grid system there, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can, we can fit that in and still have lots of space. Now, over here, I'm thinking, I'll have to do the math on these. Uh, these should support about eight people, not twelve, maybe even less, but let's say it's eight. That means if we say fill in this entire block with those, that would be eight, sixteen, twenty-four, that would be forty-eight, same as the bedrooms. So that means we would need the exact same amount of those to actually produce enough food. Of course, we're going to need the chem fuel and all the resources, it'll take a lot of steel, it's going to take components, it's going to take a lot of resources to get there, but it should be doable. I mean, it's infinitely doable, and we have enough space. You can see the square modules I've already mapped out, so we should have plenty of space to fit all of those in. Then it's just a case of making sure we can maintain morale, make sure they're all within distance of tables, and all the other fun stuff. But I think for the first time, I see the path ahead of us. I know exactly what we need to do. It's just a case of we need to basically scale this multiple times, though I really am looking forward to getting in some pool tables, poker tables. We're going to have to sort out recreation. I've got to do a bit of research on that. And this food, so long as we can scale this up. The question will be fridges, food space, stuff like that, and how big our stockpiles are going to be. Now, there's been a lot of suggestions to use the deep stacks, or, or no, it's a mod that allows you to change the stockpile size. So what we could do is maybe, maybe well, what we might have to do, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll leave it up to the comments. We can increase stack sizes for, say, meat, vegetables, and meals. So we'd increase them by tenfold, so you could stack a hundred meals on one spot. Um, same with meat, same with vegetables. That is probably about the only thing I'd really like to change, because, I mean, the bricks and all that, we're going to spend them as we use them. We've got, oh god, we've got so many blocks, that's going to be great for the perimeter wall. But the food is going to be a real pain in the butt. We're going to need so much of a stockpile of food to get us through all of the toxic fallouts, uh, well, the volcanic winters, stuff like that, that the sheer stockpile sizes are going to be absolutely astronomical. I mean, that's why I haven't cared about using seven of these. These are only here in case we get a heat wave. We only need about three to four and we're good, but the other three are just in case a heat wave kicks in. But they use so little power. These are like 200 watts a piece. So that's 1,400 watts. You've got to bear in mind, this thing uses 2,900 watts when it's active, and we've got three of them. Never mind the hydroponics basins behind them, which use 70 watts a piece. This uses a catastrophic amount of power. We, we, we don't really care about putting in an extra couple of coolers. We could double wall this, but I'd prefer to actually have the space over the extra insulation, which I know sounds crazy, but we, we literally are more concerned about just saving a little bit of space and the power requirements just seem so pathetic in comparison to what we're actually using. We don't really mind. And uh, since people have been harping around about me to plant corn, we have planted corn. There are four pieces around every single grow lamp. You'll see like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It just, uh, yeah, it, You've got those four spaces I used to put pillars in, but I'm thinking, wait, no, no, we got soil underneath that. We can put in a few pieces of corn just to keep people happy. Anyway, uh, now that at least we know the plan, I'm going to leave this here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.